When you prepare for a business presentation, do you try to make everything perfect? It's great to get personal satisfaction from excellence, but trying to make your business presentations perfect can actually jeopardize your leadership presence and your success. Hi, I'm Maria Guida, President of Successful Speaker, Inc., working with leaders who want to develop power speaking skills to be more persuasive, productive, and profitable. Trying to make your business presentations perfect can backfire. Let me highlight this point with a story about the earliest years of my life as a professional singer. I always loved singing on Broadway, but what I really wanted to sing was jazz. I fell in love with jazz after I had been singing other styles for a few years, and I can tell you why I fell in love with it. It forced me to dare to sing with a kind of freedom that I had never known before. Until that time, my singing was about executing everything in a certain way, locking it in, duplicating over and over the way I thought something should sound. My attempt was to freeze my best performance. I was trying to be perfect, and the quality of my singing suffered. My perfectionism went hand in hand with a preoccupation with what the audience would think. Would they think that I was good? Would they think that I was good enough? I thought that perfection would give me their approval. Perfectionism kept me in bondage because it robbed me of the freedom and spontaneity that I needed in order to be truly creative with a song. And it took the fun out of singing until I was able to learn to let go. So, how does this relate to your business presentations and your leadership presence? Well, perfectionism is the enemy of presence. Leadership presence is an energy that says, I am so happy to be with you, and I have a message for you that you're going to find valuable. And no matter what happens during our time together, I can handle it. The purpose of your preparation and rehearsal for a business presentation is to give you a solid foundation for the delivery of your talk so that by the time you get in front of your business audience, you're able to project gravitas while being spontaneous and conversational and authentic. So, take this tip. When you rehearse for your business presentations, internalize your content. Don't memorize it. The only parts to memorize are the opening and closing sentences, bearing in mind that you always need to be in the moment and ready to be flexible at any time. When your business listeners see that you not only know your stuff, but you have the confidence to be spontaneous, your leadership presence will skyrocket. Being flawless, being slick, is not always engaging. Being in the moment is compelling. Perfection is an illusion. So, take the risk. Let go of perfectionism when you speak for business. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Be sure to watch my next video. I'll be sharing another tip for successful speaking. And if you'd like to learn even more about how to speak successfully for business, log on to our website and join our mailing list to download additional free tips for successful speaking. Visit SuccessfulSpeakerInc.com. May you be a successful speaker.